guys welcome back to my channel today's video it is another requested video the last couple of times I did a Q&A on my Instagram I was asked for my favorite summer bags within the 500 euros budget or under so I thought I pull them all out of my closet. I'm not gonna do like a deep review of all of them, like a Celine bag, Loewe, -oui, uh, Demelier, Prada. I'm gonna compare them. I'm gonna show you what it can fit inside. So I try to give you like an overall overview of the bag. Some of the bags are already reviewed in my channel. So if you go back in the channel, to my designer reviews you can already find some views like more in depth of these bags to our new season they're all still online so they're like all classics that the brands keep on you know making if you want to buy any of them you're gonna find the link down below in the description box but they all still very current but it is just to say that is a collection that I built I would say within the past couple of years and today's outfit is gonna be linked down below as well in the description box as always so my jacket it is from a brand that is called Veronica Virta it's a lovely sort of like cropped little jacket I love the light colors for summer but today it is really really hot we having a sort of like heat wave I'm not gonna complain about the weather because it's finally really nice uh, and then I'm wearing like a silky long skirt heels and this is vest is amazing I put a few days ago on my Instagram and everyone was like crazy about it and I totally get it it is a top the built-in bra they are from Uniqlo I have a few and since I got them, literally, I've been wearing them non-stop. I feel that I need to come up with a new fashion video because I do have some pieces that I really need to show you. My jewelry, it is always from my collection with Boutique Minimalist. I'm wearing also some really nice shoes. are from Aloha's. They make very, very comfortable heels, I think. They are within my most comfy heels. These are Bottega Veneta inspired, but with a better price point. Very, very comfortable. High heel, I think this is about probably like a six or a seven. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna talk about the bags in a sort of like collections and like by comparison, uh, because some of them they're like quite similar, so I think it makes sense. Let's start from the Melier. So I have the Vancouver and the Midi Montreal. The Vancouver, it is already fully reviewed on my YouTube channel, so you can go back in the videos. And they are pretty much the same color. So I had this one first, I loved it. And then for spring, I kind of wanted a... I really like handbags. When I'm a little bit more dressy, a bag that I can just like carry in my hands. I find it always very elegant and chic. So I went for the Midi Montreal. So it comes in different sizes. So mine it is the Midi one. The price it is 515 euros and the color, my color, it is in the deep toffee but it comes in more colors as well in black like a lot of neutral colors so you can take a look as I said I really like to wear it as with a top handle but it comes with a strap as well that as you can see I haven't even used it yet so I'm just like opening it now if you want you can also attach the strap and wear it as a crossbody which I think in general it is always a plus for bags, you know, when you have options. We do like options, you know, so you can choose how to wear it. I think like this, it is, you know, more casual during the day, while if you want to wear it in the evening, when you are more dressy, I would remove the strap and wear it just with the top end. It is made of a soft, smooth cowhide leather. But I have to say that it is an extremely good quality for the price. Um, I've been wearing it quite a lot since I got it. So it's been like, I would say like about a month, like in spring, I got it in spring. 
and it doesn't have a single scuff on it. So I'm very surprised and because uh, um, normally like smooth leather it does tend to damage quicker of course than a grainy leather but this one I'm very impressed. I'm going to show you inside, of course it is all fully lined. I have to say that as a bag that you can also wear with an evening outfit, it is quite roomy. So I've been using it during the day, I've been using it in the evening, so as an evening bag I would say it's probably one of the ones that I've got that it can fit the most. So this is the inside, um, you've got a pocket with the zip and then you've got a front pocket as well. Let's do a little test and we can see what fits inside. So here I've got all my essentials. So this is how you open the bag with this little clasp, very easy to open. And then I've got my uh, diary, is the small Louis Vuitton. Uh, sunglasses, Celine sunglasses with the case phone, my card holder, some makeup, small ones, so it's like lip glosses, uh, airpods, and it all fits. So when I tell you that this is such a roomy bag, for a bag that you can also use in the evening, like no kidding. Um, while the Montreal, it is pretty much the same leather, the same color, the same gold hardware and uh, you open it with the same clasp, so it is a sister bag, but I think like this is mainly like a day bag, while I want a bag that I could also wear in the evening and I stick to the tan color because I wear a lot of like neutrals and all my jewelry is gold, so I feel that these are going really well with my style, this like deep toffee color, and also I feel that in general, in summertime, black bags can be a bit too heavy, so I prefer these colors. Uh, and then I will show you inside, similar, but it has um, an extra pocket, so the other one it is all one space while this is separated. Zip as well, so one compartment, second compartment and that's it. So this is just like more of a day bag, you know, on your shoulder like this. But to be honest, when I wear this bag, I wear it because it's the day that I want to wear a crossbody bag, so I tend to always wear this bag crossbody. Like, for me, this is more of a day bag. I never really wore it in the evening. Going on with the Demelier family, I've got the Mid in New York as well. This is very, very popular. I think it's actually sold out at the moment in this color, but it comes in so many colors. Also, really nice canvas for summer, like same shape but mine is in leather and it comes in a canvas material as well for summer. So mine is the midi and um, so it's like the sort of like medium size but it also comes in small so like a smaller version or even bigger. So if you really want like a big work bag I think uh, that one is very good but I think this one is already quite big enough. It's very, very roomy. Like here, you can really, really fit all of your essentials. I don't really even need to show you what fits inside because you can fit anything that you need on that day. Nice closure and then it's all fully lined inside and you have a side pocket. And this one also comes with the strap which is something that, again, I've never really worn this one with a strap. I always wear it as a handbag, but I think like because it's so big and you can also use it as a travel bag, I think if you use it as a travel bag or when you are on the tube or on the train, 
it can be convenient to have the strap. I wear all of these bags a lot, so every time I want to wear a bag that is a bit more understated, that is not like Hermes or Chanel, don't want to show logos, and you want to have like a good quality bag, but not necessarily like a luxury, very expensive bag, I wear these a lot. It's all of the colors, so I'm really happy with them. And if you want to compare the sizes, in New York it is more of like a day bag. I use it when I go into the city and I want to have all of my essentials with me, when I go to like work meetings, but also um, even when if I go out with Emma, it's just like a very easy to wear and but at the same time elegant work bag. This one I use it more as I said like when I'm a bit more dressy and in the evening as well while this one it is a bag that I wear when I want to be a little bit more casual and I want to wear a crossbody bag and then I um, tend to go for this one. And then finally to finish uh, my Demelier summer collection because I also have one more winter bag I also have a clutch. I think mine, because I have it for like a couple of years already, it is the previous version of the Can, because it is very very similar to the Can, but the current one, when you open it, it's, it looks a bit different, but from the outside it looks like pretty much the same bag, it also has, which I really really like, the gold chain, and I think it's just so handy to have um, a bag that you know you can take in the evening uh, but it also has a chain so you can also wear it on your shoulder I find it very very chic inside it is also fully lined it is a fabric line is not suede and it also has like a zip pocket and it is in the color of white smooth and the price it is 395 euros let me fill it in so i can show you also what fits inside so i'm gonna try i'm gonna test it again with the same essentials so little diary sunglasses i have to say that this specific diary it is very small so if you have a bigger diary it won't fit obviously card holder airpods makeup like lipsticks and iphone i have two iphones so that's a different one and it fits everything like these bags are so spacious so this is you can carry it like you know as a pouch you can carry it like this and carry it like this on your shoulder as well when you're not wearing it with a chain you can put the chain inside it is really like well designed so you see the chain is attached like this and then you push it in you close your bag and you don't see anything i think this one i should wear it more i think this one this summer i will wear it a lot because um i think this was my first the Melier bag and then when I got the other ones I started to wear this less and today I'm really rediscovering it so this I'm gonna wear a lot this coming summer <laughs> so these bags that I showed you so far the Demelier ones they are all year round bags especially the deep toffee color maybe like uh, no even the white I wear it in winter as well because I love winter whites but now we go into summer basket and obviously these are purely summer and vacation bags. So I have the Celine basket in the medium size and the Loewe basket in the medium size as well in white. I used to have the tan one in this one, uh, in the Loewe one and I sold it because I wanted to get the white one because I thought it didn't, have, it didn't make sense to have two tans. So now, when I want to wear tan, when I wear tan shoes, I'm gonna wear the Celine ones. When I have more like white shoes, I'm gonna wear the white Loewe's. I wear these baskets all summer long, not just at the beach, but I wear them in the city as well. They kind of became trendy, so it is very nice to wear a basket also in the city. 
um, and I'm taking advantage of it because I really like the styling to have like a nice summer city look with the basket. The only thing I must say about wearing these baskets in the city is that obviously um, they're not very secure because they are open. So wear them will be in a different way. So if I'm in the city and I wear um, the basket, this for example, um, which I think it looks even perfect with the outfit I'm wearing today, I would put all my essentials into like little pouches so I just don't throw them in like this. I uh, put like pouches with all my things and at least they are a little bit more secure. And then my sort of like trick when we are at the beach, I put my things and then I put my towel on top so no one can really reach it. The same with the Celine one. Both of these are perfect for the beach, of course, depending a little bit on the size you like. The medium Celine, it is a little bit bigger than the medium Loewe. You can also get a bigger size in this one. You can also get a size large, for example. And the Celine also have like longer handles. You can also wear it on your uh, shoulders so it is kind of very handy to carry and while the um, Loewe I wear it like this or as a handbag but it doesn't really, yeah it fits now under my shoulder but it's not a way as I wear it, it feels weird. And then I'm going to show you two more bags, still part of my collection. So one it is from Prada and one it is from Jerome Dreyfus. I wear the Prada one a lot in the summer. This one, it can be a lot of things. Maybe because I'm Italian, we see these Prada nylon bags a lot. It is super handy in the summer. I wear it every day. I actually wear these inside my baskets. So, you know, and here I put all my things like my phone, my phone charger, um, you know, if I need to carry something quickly in the summer, I just take this one with me. It is 510 euros, but I've had this for years. It is always part of the Prada Classic collection. You can also wear it as an evening summer bag because you have this very small little handle and you can wear it as a little clutch or I don't know, you know in summer when you're wearing something very light and you just go for a walk in the evening and you don't want to dress up but you still want to wear something nice, I think this is a very cute little thing to have and the details are Safiano leather and then inside you have like all the Prada print and it is actually very secure so you know you put your phone fit a lot inside my phone i can fit my lipsticks my uh, card holder my airpods keys of course i don't need a diary when i'm in the summer in on vacation uh, and you see it fits all the essentials, it becomes even nicer when it is a little bit fuller and um, I think it's just a very cute little thing to have, it can be many things. <laughs> okay guys, so this was my handbag collection under 500 euros, um, I hope you liked it, I hope you find inspiration for your summer bags. If from any of these bags, uh, if you have any questions or if there is a bag that you uh, think deserves a, you know more in-depth reviews or if you have any questions when you want to purchase one just feel free to leave me a comment and I get back to you. Uh, if you want to see more pictures of all of these bags styled just go on my Instagram at Nicole Ballardini there is more pictures there just scroll down to the last summer as well and you're gonna find more pictures. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video and I'll see you next week with the next video that I think we're gonna go back to some outfits because the last two videos has been accessories so let's do some clothing next.